the comments because guess what? We're on roller coaster. We were just hyped for a couple wins and now we're fired up again. You know what? I won't be able to sleep at night if I don't get these thoughts out. So I'm just going to get these thoughts out. If you are on planet Earth still defending Justin Hall, you need to get checked. Like you seriously need to get checked. I'm not going to put the loss specifically on him, but it is pretty, pretty simple at this point. You do not need to be a hockey expert to understand simple fundamentals. Simple fundamentals. Let's break it down. Guy looks freaking confused on the first goal, drops his stick. Let's break it down for Sheldon Keefe here. Sheldon Keefe, what are you doing? Morgan Riley, three goals in a row. If you ever spoke any hate on Morgan Riley, hide in your bedroom. Do not watch a single Leaf game the rest of the series. You are a fake ass fan. You probably joined this team in the last five years. Morgan Riley shows up every fucking year in the playoffs outside of the Columbus series. So if you ever spoke a bad name or bad freaking comment about Morgan Riley or, or just hate on the guy, you are so, you're, you're so lost. You're so confused. The guy's the longest tenured leaf. He just, as a defenseman, he scored three goals in a row here in the playoffs. Game three, game four, game five. All key goals. The freaking winner, the freaking tying goal, and the win, and the freaking goal to start off the night. The Leafs have been freaking shit for starts in this series, and Morgan Riley scores off the bat. What does Sheldon Keefe do? Oh, the building's freaking rocking. The building, you know, like that is as loud, if not the loudest I've heard the building ever, ever. And what does Sheldon Keefe do? He throws Justin Hall out there. Justin Hall drops his stick in front of the net, and freaking Toronto boy Anthony Sorelli scores like literally less than 30 seconds later it is that bad when the freaking goal for Morgan Rally is being announced after the Tampa goal that's how quickly the building went from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows and just knowing that the Leaf fans can't have good things and somehow Justin Hall was on for three goals against tonight um, not including the empty netter so Oh yes, Justin Hall, great job, buddy. You completely sold the bed. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about certain things, but Patty Maroon just freaking ripped Giordano right in the numbers. And Maddie and I has got a high stick. Tough bounce. I'll let the comments comment on that. Justin Hall specifically involved in all three goals against with Samson off in the net. Sorelli goal. And um, yeah, I, I don't want to lose my freaking mind too far here. But who remembers once upon a time when Jake Gardner turned the other freaking way to center ice and Jake DeBrusque scored with no freaking like pressure, essentially. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that, that seemed pretty similar here. How on earth are you an NHL defenseman and you're pivoting to the freaking opposite way of the play? Please watch the replay. If you feel you have any hockey sense at all, go watch the Lightning's second goal tonight. And yes, it is a shot that Samsonov should have. Anissa, or, I don't know how it goes in. Like, how does it go in Samsonov? But I'm not blaming him because Hall is freaking turning the other way. It is fundamentals. You learn that when you're seven years old. The, the guy's coming. Hey folks, you wanna do a freaking play-by-play -play in the freaking car? The guy is coming on your freaking right you turn your body towards the freaking forward. No, what does Justin Hall do? Justin Hall turns his ass to the forward and he scores a goal. You know why I can't even say this guy's freaking name? Because he just entered into the series for Tanner Janot. And I, I, I don't know what else you guys want to say. Isamont, like freaking, I'm going to say his name. Isamont freaking gets two points tonight and jumps into the lineup. Like, how on earth, how on earth is that justified? How on earth are you Sheldon Keefe and you look at this game and go, wow, the Leafs have won two games in a row, game four, uh, game three and game four, that they did not deserve. They did not deserve in the slightest, but they came back and won. And your mindset is, let's play Justin Hall again, almost 20 minutes tonight, and they get justified. He was on for three goals against all three the freaking pity empty netter with two seconds left do not count that shit that's freaking garbage i'm going to finish the video with this if you want to win this series 
It is as simple as this. Play your stars. Play your best players. There are four guys on this team that should be playing over 22 minutes easily. When I see Connor McDavid and Drysdale play over 25 minutes, and I'm watching certain guys on this team play close to the same minutes as Justin Hall, it makes me want to throw up. I, I can't see Game 7 again. You have to win in Tampa. You have to freaking win in Tampa. Oh my God. Look, what is happening right now? I... You know what? Throw the comments down. Throw the comments down. This is my freaking pure, genuine reaction. That's how it is. That is how it is. Justin Hall cannot be in this lineup. If you have any common sense at all, freaking shake it up, man. Shake it up. It's as simple as that. The guy's been on for 14 or 15 goals against in this series. That is not a coincidence. Wake up, man. If you're defending Justin Hall in 2023, I justified this, the fact that he could be in this lineup on a third pair role playing under 14, 13 minutes a night. The guy is pushing 20 minutes a night, folks. It can't happen! It can't! All right. The Leafs are still up 3-2 in the series. Let's have some optimism and watch it again. Have a great night. The Leafs need to finish their opportunities. Mitch Marner looks scared at times. I love the guy and he's having a great playoff round. But I'm so tired of moral victories, folks. I'm so tired of, oh my God, accomplishments of points when you lose in the first round is freaking embarrassing, bro. I don't care if Marner gets six assists. I do not care, bro. He had a breakaway. That's when big players need to score. Just look at the guys that have scored the last three games. That is all I'm saying. If you ever speak a bad word about Morgan Riley again, Label yourself as a fake ass fan. Guy is a defenseman has scored three goals in the last three games. Three game goal streak. Shut it and realize who's not showing up or keep this agenda because Justin Hall, we're not going to just specify the fact that he was to blame for this whole game, but it is pretty specific to realize that the guy was on for three goals against and has been on for like literally majority of the goals against in this series. If you think that's not a coincidence, I don't know what to tell you anymore, guys. All right, have a great one. This has been a long enough. I've just rambled on. Subscribe, like, comment. Peace.